<laughs> What's up, everybody? It's your boy Hey here to give you guys a review for Love and Hip Hop Hollywood. Really quickly, if you guys have not seen my uh, story, my uh, ancestry results came in. I will uh, link the video, and also if you guys click on the link in that video, if you guys want to do it, you guys can get ten percent off of the um, the uh, kit. If you guys want to uh, figure out what your uh, makeup is. That being said, enough with the plugging. So this fucking review, okay, or the first part of this. So you got Masika meeting with a uh, Sprint Mouth and pretty much wants to work on a track. That's pretty much it. We'll see how that works. But she is very weary about, uh, you know, the little Chihuahua. We all know how that's gonna play out, but I'll talk more about it when we get there. We got Princess meeting with the uh, wedding planner. Um, talking about mostly Ray J's um, heart in all of this and I guess to see how committed he is to this process have him there for the uh, cake testing truth be told this is one of those where we all know when it comes to most Americanized weddings that it is the wife's wedding so I'm pretty sure Ray J's whole outlook is whatever the fuck you want is what the fuck I want it is what it is Again, we'll see how that plays out. The only thing I didn't like is the wedding planner is asking about how the family feels about her and everything. And Prince says when they start talking about Mama Sonia. That's one of those where either you say something nice or it's one of those, you know, don't take this the wrong way, but you're just here to plan the wedding. I don't really think I should be talking about my soon-to-be in-laws with you. I know they came off very bitchy like I'm a hey, most of the time some of the shit I say come off rude as fuck but I'm y'all feel what I'm saying right okay then you got creep squad LA minus the cockroach I don't think we're gonna see his ass anymore if so we might see him this episode um but they're talking about their respective issues minus Willie Willie ain't gonna say shit about his thing and that is good it's good don't talk about shit man but uh, Safari brings up Nikki and, you know, uh, saying that he was caught on a date with her. Now, the picture that we see is them walking out of an establishment. Too easy. Y'all fucked up. All you had to do was just let her walk out first and you walk out first. Wait about a good five, ten minutes, then motherfucker, you walk out. And they were conveniently right there at the door. I don't believe you. I don't believe you. Okay, Mona. But anyway... Uh, Ray J spilled the tea saying that his uh, shop or whatever is right next to uh, Rosa Acosta's and Nikki be in there and they might be doing this right here and Ray J is telling him you need to go ahead roll up in there and pretty much say I want it all I want both of y'all right now woo wop the woo it ain't like they not gonna give it to you well we will see how this plays out I don't think Rosa is uh, gonna be up for it we shall see. Okay, I, I swear I just cannot wait for the fucking blow up to happen. I think it's going to be, it's probably not going to be epic, but it might be funny as fuck. All right, let me stop rambling. So, just two things to talk about. So, you got the Michelin Man, Plastic Larosa. Here's the thing. Why the fuck do we continue to have the Michelin Man on here? Real talk, like... I still can't get past the fact that he threw a fucking drink in a woman's face. I still can't get past that. And it's all and it's one of those where okay, we got it, they're painting him to be messy, but it's like Mona's trying to paint him like no, no, he's still gonna be that guy. Now, Plastique is upset because, you know, he is the one that posted that picture on his blog. And went so far as to caption or not caption but add um, Rosa and put her in there like is she dating at whatever uh, Rosa's handle is which is messy as fuck but again here's the thing it's kind of hard to be friends with somebody like that I mean like I, said, like I said I'm a fucking vlogger I do this but people that I fuck with already know the chance of me coming on here talking about they shit is fucking slim nut. You know what I'm saying? Like, unless you sit here and, like, burn me and try to spray me. But chances of that shit happening, it won't. But having somebody that is a blogger or whatever and you know they are known for the fucking mess. Okay. So, whatever. And you got Nikki sitting here playing a, you know, playing a good game. Rosa don't know. So, hey, alright, Rosa. 
but we'll see how this shit plays out. Then we have Ray J working on his scooters and shit. He's uh, doing a photo shoot and, you know, have quoted Diddy, you know, hey, promote, promote, promote this damn third. So Princess is upset because he's not helping. She shows up and she decides. Now, again, I'm getting tired of people showing up during places of business and popping up when coins are involved. Because, again, when it's shit like this, more or less you're paying for time whether I said I mean in general you're probably paying by the hour so even her coming in and disrupting for what probably looked like 10 to maybe even 20 minutes that's fucking with the paper and that's and I mean it's one of those where I got it you know that's his girl and shit had it been me it would have been one of those I will talk to you when this is over I love you this that a third but you fucking with the money so unless you gonna sit here and pay for the Maybe I'm, well, I am an asshole, but it is what it is. She's is speaking her concerns. He still has the photo shoot on the mind, and she's getting upset. But it's like the man is in business mode. He's in hustle mode. You can't. You could be upset, but you can't really be mad. And maybe again, maybe it's just because I'm a dude. I might be wrong, but you know, he he pull out his tricks and whatnot. Get on one knee hold hands, does all that and then it's fucking over. So, the fuck out. Okay, before I, like, really get into this, I cannot wait to watch Basketball Wives LA on Sunday. Like, I never even be hyped for it. Like, I always catch the shit, you know, the next day on my DVR, but I don't know. I feel like I really want to watch it because it looks like it's going to be good. Okay. Anyway, so you got Chihuahua, she's, um, at her store talking about if she can get this money up that maybe it'll bring you know her husband home then y'all gotta put me up on game i don't know who it is rihanna danae whoever she i don't know who that is i'm just getting back into you know what's hot right now so y'all put me up again who that is but apparently they're going to style her for her tour so we'll see how that plays out so now we got rosa tiara marie who i i no, no, I, I'm going to give her one more week. I think I got a name for I'm going to give her one more week, though. Uh, Sylvester and Tweety, Mysteries, Plastique, and Safari. Now, they all there, minus Safari. The girls didn't mad Rosa. So now Rosa and Plastique go, you know, to a back room. Safari said he just saw on the ground that she was hosting an event. And he going to pop up. And this one of those where this is when I'm conflicted. Because normally I am not against people popping up at somebody's fucking event, as I said earlier. But, fuck, you got to get the information. Now, this is one of those where I probably would have waited until shit died down and shit, you know. Like, I would have been there and not said, I don't know what I fuck. I don't know what the fuck I would have did. But he walk in, Tierra Marie don't know what the fuck she want to do. But she low-key want to try to help a friend. If you try to help your friend, you would have tried to, like, talk him down and then Sylvester Tweety Mysteries could have sent a test like hey bitch like he here like you might want to do so see y'all ain't no real fucking friends just saying but we already knew this so he goes in there and confronts and now Rose is just kind of like what the, fuck, what the fuck you want and Ro and I think I, it's one of two things either A Nikki then spun some good game on Rose and she truly thinks she's the only one or She's saving face so when he leaves, she can go to fuck in, which I think that's what it is. But she's still holding tight, and where Safari fucked up is Safari starts addressing Rosa. And I'm this is one of them where it's it, I'm like, bruh, why are you addressing the other side piece? Like, don't do that. Talk to Nikki or talk about this shit in such a way that she catch her own self up. And then he gonna hit hit her with the whole I want both of y'all type thing where it's just like now you went from He went from being thirsty to just motherfucking dehydrated. And he, now he looking horrible as fuck and then you looking simple as fuck because you gonna sit here and let Ray J talk you I can't, I'm done. <laughs> Did she just say Miss Kabapa later? I'll wait for this shit to actually come on to, um, yeah, okay, so, 
Safari is walking away telling Rosa, don't act like when I leave that I'm still not going to be talking to Nikki. And it's like, bruh, she just played your ass all the way the fuck to the left. And I don't know if he was trying to save face. It's like, I'm confused. I'm, I need for y'all to help me understand because I am so fucking confused. And I'm upset because I'm wearing my team on these shirt and my, and my baby ain't even on here today. But that's okay. It's alright. And then Nikki is still trying to run game on Rosa. And for a minute I thought she was taking it. But Rosa, Rosa long story short, it's just like, I can't do this with you. And Nikki's like, when I ask you what this is, you say we're just having fun. We're just having fun. So, and that's her whole thing. Of, and she's like, I was going to tell you eventually. Rosa's whole thing is, well, this is what happened when you wait. So Rosa and I and I, I clocked it. She was trying to save face in front of Safar, but once he left, it was just like, okay, well, let me go ahead and let me go ahead and stick the dagger in one good time. But this shit ain't over. This shit, this shit ain't over. And now we got um Willie and Shonda. I don't know why the fuck I wrote down Rosa and Willie. What the fuck am I doing? But they meet up. And it's starting to sink in that okay, wow, I'm I really might lose my wife. And see, and this is the thing that see she she's doing good. But when I said on the last review uh, that she was trying to put space between them, I said that she wasn't leaving. I was wrong. She actually left with gears, but she's doing good, putting some space between to make his ass lust, yearn, and wonder. To make a uh, yeah, serious thing, whether it be male or female, you gotta make them hurt. So like when like when they fuck up, they gotta feel the pain. It, it is what the fuck it is. The only thing is what you don't want to do is hold out for so long that your plan backfires. You feel what I'm saying? But I don't see him doing that, especially if they ain't sat on motherfucking prenup. He probably ain't going no fucking where, and he admits that he fucked around with it at one time. And she was like, I fucking knew that. I was just waiting for you to tell me. And more often than not, you know, guys, if we get caught the fuck up, if we, if we already caught the fuck up, she already know. So it's best that, you know, what, just play your whole hand and hope that you're good. Hope that you sit here and you clean house. He fucked up. So we'll see what happens, but they need to, and they did some, they did some good ass acting. I'm gonna get him that. I, I mean, I, it didn't touch my spirit, it ain't touch my soul, but I, I was slightly convinced, you know. Kudos. Okay. Yeah, this is this is funny. All right, so princess is at the cake ta tasting. Ray J is not there. She mentions that she wants her parents there. Her father walked her down the aisle, but they have an estranged relationship. And the um, wedding planner pretty much says to her, you might want to fix that issue with your father because, well, one, even though she didn't say it, that energy can be felt. You know, sometimes what isn't said can be, you know, read and felt and seen very loud you know but also for her it was like this you know is the first man that ever loved you and for what it's worth probably is the first man that ever didn't love you so this is going to play a huge part in your relationships with well actually your relationship with Ray J and it brings her to tears but I mean it's not like she's lying so maybe, maybe just maybe Princess got a fucking storyline now, so she can stop fucking with Monies. We will fucking see. So now we have Masika in the studio with Max. Uh, auto tuned out fucking song, but it sound cute. It did. She wrote it while she she wrote it and did it while she was eight months pregnant. So now they're gonna work on something new. So Brandy walks in. Brandy is upset because Masika allegedly tried to fuck her BFF, who was also her business partner, husband. Who happens to be a producer? Masiga says that they were trying to work on the track. He said that uh, to get the track, she had to give us something. She said no. And she has her phone with all of the text messages to pretty much prove what it is. So, 
it is what it is. So Brandy comes in on that fuck shit now right there. You know, again, coming in, fucking with the business. I believe Max should have told her, no, get the fuck out and wait till the session is over because she has paid for this session. So you fucking up the money. Session is paid for. So now they're going at each other. More or less, Brandy is going in on Masika now. This is one of, this is where shit get a little, yeah. She's going in on Masika. Going in. And then it had dare to say Beyonce is her fucking friend. <laughs> I'ma let that one go. I'ma let the other vloggers have a field day with that. But you know, Masika went so far as to say, Get, put your dog on a leash. Now, all is fair in love and war. All is fair. But this is one of those where you still have to respect the fact and honor the fact that this is his wife. You know what I'm saying? And even though the wife is all the way the fuck wrong, this is where you keep it on cute, keep it on mute. Because what Masika should have done is, you know what? I see you guys have issues. I will just step out. I will let y'all rectify this. By the way, Max, uh, since I have 30 more minutes, just make sure I get my 30 minutes when I come back. That would have been the better thing to do. But hold on. It's coming back on. Ah, ah. All right now, okay. Let me hurry and finish this shit. Cause I need to go ahead and watch Gotham and watch Lucifer. Cause that shit's about like Ashley Gotham just went off. So Ashley, fuck no. I gotta hurry up, take this video, edit it, splice it, upload it, and then watch Gotham and Luc Lucifer. All right, so now we got the Chihuahua and you know uh, Sprint Mouth. They're fucking going back and forth, and her whole thing is like. How dare you let her disrespect me? To, I mean, she has a point. To an extent, again, look, I need for y'all let me know down below, cause I'm I'm iffy on this, cause this is one of those where shit could have played out differently in so many different ways. You feel what I'm saying? Like I felt like, you know, on one hand, why the fuck is Ti and Tiny trying to give us? Fucking Cosby show realness with this damn itch. What the fuck is this shit? Hold on. Alright. Y'all, dude, that's that's why I can't have a TV on. Y'all know I fucking get sidetracked. I'm sorry. The fuck was I saying? Like, Masika could have left. At the same exact time when the bullshit came, when the bullshit happened. I said it right when the bullshit came in. Max could have easily grabbed his wife and they could have stepped out. He could have asked him to You know what I'm saying? It's one of those where him being the male, him being the alpha, he could have taken control of that and this shit could have not gone the way that it went. But picking up where it is, you know, she in her feelings, he looked at her like, you done? And then she began to sit here and count off money and she gave me Beyonce realness. Like, I'm sitting here, she don't know much about algebra, but okay. Um... Say there's fifteen thousand of the twenty-seven thousand, you know, and that should mean so. He's like, but you're not realizing that I paid for this studio time, or for this day in the studio, so you're fucking up my money regardless. And he's even trying to get her understand. It's like you're so okay. Her whole thing is how dare you let her disrespect me? And he's looking at her like, you don't even understand what you did wrong. So pretty much the whole world is against you, but you don't see what you did wrong. And he walks the fuck out, which, I mean, he's trying to let her feel it. And, yeah, he, need, I mean, again, he needs to see his son. No, no bullshit. He needs to see his son, but still make her feel it. And this motherfucking pimple right here, y'all, I can't, I can't. Ah, <sighs> it's whatever. But that's it. I can't wait for next fucking week. That shit, like... It looked like we ain't getting Moniz again. We finally finna see Tierra have a fucking storyline. I just can't wait to see the mamas go at it. Cause Lyrica G, Lyrica C, you sit here dropping glass on the floor and shit. Baby. Baby. <laughs> I just can't wait. So here's the thing. Let's get the discussion, you know, popping down below. Y'all let me know how y'all felt about this all uh, fuck shit. And. Ah, if all goes well, I will see you guys Sunday on Periscope for trending topics and then it'll get uploaded to YouTube. So thank you so much for watching. Please rate, comment, subscribe, and share. 
also if you guys have not seen my uh, uh, tabloids and trending topics with T Extra that I did today because it was actually for last week about uh, Colin Kaepernick I will link that too so thank you guys so much for watching rate, comment, subscribe and share I will see you guys on the next video peace